Okay, today I'm going to do chapter 14.3, the product rule. It's used to differentiate functions of the form u times v. Later I'll tell you what's u times v. Okay, basically if y is u times v, differentiating y with respect to x yields v times differentiating u with respect to x plus u multiplied to differentiating v with respect to x. Okay, v du dx plus u dv dx. This is known as the product rule. Okay, I'll just show you how it's done. For 1b, 1b, they tell us to differentiate with respect to x, uh, x minus 1, x plus 2 square. So they tell me to differentiate with respect to x, x minus 1, x plus 2 square. Okay, first what we need to do is identify what is u and what is v. So first I'll say that u is equal to x minus 1. Then notice that we will need the differential differentiating u with respect to x. So I write down just below it, differentiating u with respect to x is equals to 1. Similarly, I know that v is equals to x plus 2 square. So I differentiate v with respect to x. I get 2 times x plus 2 power 1 times 1 it is simply 2 x plus 2. This is application of the chain rule. Then carrying on with this question, what we get is this. So now that I differentiate x minus 1, x plus 2 square with respect to x, I just apply the formula that you will have to memorize. Okay, up there. V, just plug in the values. V times differentiating the u with respect to x is 1. So it's v du dx plus u, okay, which is x minus 1 times dv dx, which is times 2 times x plus 2. So you want to simplify everything, you get x plus 2 squared plus 2 times of x minus 1 x plus 2. And I have differentiated this function okay, of the form u times v. Now I move on to question 2b. Alright. Okay, question 2b goes like this. First, they will tell me to differentiate um, x times 1 plus 2 square root of 1 plus 2x. This is the same as writing. I differentiate x times 1 plus 2x to the power of half. Like this. Now, we identify u times v. In this case, u is x v is 1 plus 2x to the power of half. So differentiating u with respect to x gives me 1. Differentiating v with respect to x gives me half. 1 plus 2x half minus 1 gives me negative half. Then don't forget by the chain rule, you have to differentiate what's inside the bracket as well. 1 becomes 0 when differentiated. 2x gives 2. Then if I simplify, 2 times half gives me 1, so the 2 eliminates. I'm left with 1 plus 2x to the power of negative half. You have to write it nicely, it's 1 over square root of 1 plus 2x. Now, what happens here is this, we apply the formula, which is v du dx plus u dv dx. So v Okay, du dx is 1 down there, plus uh, u, which is x, dv dx, which is 1 over root of 1 plus 2x. So in this case, what I get is square root of 1 plus 2x plus x over square root 1 plus 2x. And I am done with question 2b. And this concludes all my examples for 14.3.